there was another major traffic accident in backup this afternoon. It was also along one of the valley's most heavily traveled roads. This accident might have you crying over spilled milk. A truck scattered milk crates and cartons across four lanes of the interstate. Drivers are being asked to avoid 680 for the next several hours as the freeway is shut down in both directions. First News anchor Stan Boney is along I-680 where the milk and accident is still getting cleaned up right now. So Stan, what's the very latest? Well, I'm standing on one of the bends on Interstate 6AZ as it comes through the city of Youngstown, which you see behind me. The overpass behind me leads from 680 southbound to the Madison Avenue Expressway, but also behind me, you can see the Dean Dairy Truck, which at 2 o'clock this afternoon uh, lost control coming around this Ben crashed into the Jersey wall and dumped its load of milk all over both lanes of Interstate 680. Uh, you don't know if you can see it, but right on the other side, there's a small little front loader that they just rolled in here just within the last few minutes. It is picking up the milk that was taken off of the truck on the other side of the Jersey wall. That's the southbound lane. Also to my left here is a Lutz pickup truck or Lutz towing truck, and they are trying to figure out how to move the truck itself. That's the next thing that will get done. Uh, we're going to clean up the milk on the other side, get this truck out of the way, and hopefully get the road open back up. But at this point, it does not look like it'll be until either 8 or 9 o'clock that I-680 will reopen again. Let's go to the videotape from earlier today, and this was the scene after the accident happened. You can see the truck on the side up against the wall and milk products scattered all over the road. There are gallons, quarts, cartons of white chocolate and strawberry milk all over the road. Now, there was a Dean Dairy official on the scene, and all he would say was that the load was headed to another dairy. The Youngstown Fire Department, they showed up for a while, they were handling the cleanup, and Battalion Chief John Lightly told me there are environmental concerns. The biggest issue, the milk, if it gets into the waterway, there's a growth medium bacteria that starts to kill um, uh, marine life and so forth. So the crews did a great job of getting the waterway sealed off, so we don't think there's going to be any issue there. But as the vehicles would continue to travel through it, track it downstream uh, or down the roadway, we want to make sure that, of course, all the debris is picked up, but as well as sand is put down and then the sand collected and um, treated as a hazardous material. Well, at around 3.30 this afternoon, the first front loader was brought into the scene and started uh, the process of cleaning up the containers. Uh, there are still several tow trucks on the scene, and again, they're looking to move this semi here coming up shortly. Now, the sand itself will be used to soak up some of the milk because the road, because of the milk, is very slippery. If you walk from here just back to there, you can notice the slipperiness on the road. So 680 will not be open until it is deemed safe for everyone to be traveling through here. Live in Youngstown, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.